a 2020 model Featherlight 32 foot lift gate. How about it, folks? Look at this piece of art right here. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Paducah, Kentucky. Got a cool one to show you today. So, 2020 Featherlight 32 foot lift gate stacker. Um, optioned up with probably the most options for a 32 foot trailer that I've ever seen. Uh, the build sheet on this trailer north of uh, 300,000 back in 2019 when it was ordered. Um, I recently spoke with Featherlight, kind of bounced uh, the build sheet off of them again. With current pricing, they said this trailer estimated cost. They couldn't give me an exact price, but they said probably around 400,000 bucks to build this one brand new. So, and I know you're going 32 foot stacker, 400 grand, what's special about it? Well, a list of options. Uh, a really big list of options. So we'll start, we're gonna just kind of make our way around it. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I know. And then um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna read down the options list, okay? So we've got, we'll start off again, 2020 Featherlight 32 foot stacker. Um, we're, we've got the 20,000 pound air ride axles. So it's the 22 and a half inch wheels with the big single tires on them, okay? Uh, we can see up here on the tongue, we've got a uh, stainless enclosure, which is going to have uh, two of the uh, Cruise Air 14,000 BTU air conditioners in it. Um, we also have the uh, 20,000 KW PowerTech diesel generator. It's mounted up in the top. Uh, as you can see, the little black dome on the very top, in motion satellite. It's got a TV in it, so we've got in motion satellite service on this one. Uh, it also has like a weather station. Um, you'll, if you look at the picture, the photo album on our website, up in the upper deck, you'll see a pole with like a little antenna deal on it, and um, so that's what that's for. Um, so up in the very top of the enclosure, again, we've got the 20 kW PowerTech diesel generator. Um, the middle ways down, we've got all of our batteries. So uh, the trailer has four of the six volt batteries wired uh, to where it maintains 12 volts, but just has a really high amp, uh, amp hour duration. Uh, we've got a fifth battery up there. That battery is solely starts the generator. So it's got its own uh, power source to fire it up. Uh, down in the bottom, uh, or actually about three quarters of the way down from the top, you're gonna see the diesel uh, storage tank, diesel fuel for the generator. I believe it's 52 gallons. Um, I believe that's correct of what I've seen on the label. And um, then on down from that, we've got um, the cruise air uh, condensers. There's two of them. There's a front and a rear air system in this trailer. And then on the very bottom, uh, we're going to have the onboard air compressor and it also has an onboard nitrogen tank. So uh, a lot of the guys drag racing, uh, even the dirt guys anymore are using a lot of nitrogen. So um, that's, uh, that's what's up in the front. As you can see, it's got a pinnel hitch. Uh, we've got of all, all of our connections for our uh, Voyager camera system. It actually has a camera in the upper and the lower deck. Uh, we've got our uh, glad hand fittings for our air brakes and our air ride. So it is an air ride trailer again, two, 20,000 pound axles under this bad boy. I'm trying to get a little better with my YouTube uh, content here. One, uh, one uh, person on there asked if I could stand back a little and not be as close to things. So I'm kind of learning as I go, but trying to give you some good coverage and, and show you what we've got. Um, again, Featherlight, I should have mentioned this in the very beginning. Uh, aluminum construction, you can see they still do the uh, the tongue out of steel, but the actual trailer, I uh, took some uh, pictures up underneath the trailer and uh, you'll be able to see a lot of it's built out of aluminum square tubing. So it uh, gets you a little lighter weight, a little probably longer durability uh, in the long run. And um, so let's talk about something else I just seen. This has four point hydraulic leveling on it. Yes, that's correct. So a Bigfoot system, four point hydraulic leveling. So you got two jacks in the front, two jacks in the back. Uh, as you can see right now, we're using the two jacks in the front as our landing gear. So we just uh, raised the trailer up off of the hitch on the, the coach that we pulled it out here with, but it actually has two hydraulic uh, cylinders in the back as well. And so you can actually just literally 
put these little steel plates on the ground that, um, that also come with the trailer. Press a button, press auto level, and the whole trailer will level itself. Um, so this compartment out here, uh, something while we're over here I don't want to forget about. I do want to show you. Uh, it's got an onboard pressure washing system to where you can wash from either side. How about that? Two big electric pumps, all the controls. Um, I think it holds over 100 gallons of water on board. Um, you can see where you can uh, fill the tank here or you got a city water connection there above it. Um, again, aluminum 22.5 wheels, Michelin tires. Um, we've got some of the aero component tables uh, that are aluminum that uh, flip down and you can store them inside the trailer when you get to the track or wherever you're headed. You can get those out and clip them on the outside. So there's one of those tables or workbenches on the driver's side, and then there's two on the passenger side. Um, included is two sets of aluminum steps. So one that we've got there on the rear, and then uh, there's one on the side. So go around here, glass doors in the back. Um, something super cool I want to share with you. So, you know, when I was running the lift gate up and down, I was sitting there thinking, Man, it would be a bad day if someone had that glass door open in the back and then someone started running the lift gate down by accident, just, you know, simple as not paying attention. Well, actually, to tell you, there's sensors on both doors. Um, I just was looking and I could see a little wire running up kind of by the corner of the door. And there's actually a sensor on each door. So if you were running the lift gate down and let's say someone didn't notice and they just push on the door and open it, I mean, that lift gate, the power of that thing, it's an electric screw gate that would crush one of those doors in a matter of a millisecond. So uh, there's actually a sensor on each door. If the door opens, the gate stops. So how about that? Kudos to Featherlight on just, I'm not going to say overthinking everything, but really, really, really thinking about what they build. So uh, again, aluminum lift gate, as you can see, screw gate. So the difference in a screw gate and a hydraulic gate, there's pros and cons in my opinion. A pro would be when you raise the gate up to like the level that it's at now, there's no post sticking through the ceiling. For instance, if you were pulling this trailer in, let's say a shop that, you know, barely cleared, your door's 14 foot, this trailer's probably 13, 13, four overall height, and you pull it in and you're, you've got, let's say, metal inside your shop ceiling, you run those posts up, obviously you're going to have to have a place for them to go if your ceiling's, you know, 14 or 15 foot. Well, with a screw gate, as you can see right now, we've got the gate up and there's no post coming through the top. Um, a screw gate is pretty maintenance friendly. I mean, you've got an electric motor going to little um, gearboxes with Lovejoy couplings. It's pretty maintenance free. If you do a very, very bare uh, maintenance on it, they, they really don't ever have any issues. Uh, you've got a big uh, 220 volt electric motor with an electronic brake on it. And so uh, that's really easy to, you know, you got up and down. With a hydraulic gate, you've got up and down, then you can also level side to side. So, you know, it's hydraulic. I, again, I like the, um, the leveling system of the hydraulic gate, but the screw gate is always about twenty to thirty thousand dollars more when I've spec'd out a new trailer. So uh, all your NASCAR guys, your drag race guys, all those really love the screw gate. Some of your dirt racers would prefer the hydraulic gate just because they can tilt it from side to side. Um, so we're going around the trailer. As you can see, it's got two of the aero component um, fold-out tables. Now, those do not ride down the road even folded down. Those come off the wall. There's, um, there's two little pucks per table, and they come off the wall, and, and they actually store in the upper deck. Another very important thing I want to mention to you about the, um, the passenger side of the trailer is it does include an awning. Um, let me kind of show you up in the upper deck. You can see those rails kind of zoom in there. Uh, they're mounted on the wall just for storage going down the road. But those do mount on the, um, the side of the trailer and it does include the awning canvas. So that's all uh, comes with it. It's probably, I didn't ever assemble it. I do have a, um, a picture in our photo album showing you how it looks on the trailer. But I can see by the brackets, it's at least 30 foot long and probably comes out 15 or 20 foot. So uh, a lot of your drag guys refer to them as pro awnings. Um, but uh, yeah, you do have a 30 foot length, uh, pretty much runs the whole end of the trailer, one side to the other. And then you have, um, I'm gonna say it probably comes out 15 or 20 foot off the side. So uh, that is also included with it. 
Um, one other cool thing I want to mention, the screw gate. Um, and I noticed uh, Featherlight included this, and I'm going to pass it on to the, the new owner. Um, you see down here on the right rear of the trailer, there's a little deal that looks like a kind of like a bolt head. See that? Okay, so what that does, that connects to the uh, the motor and the gearboxes on the, the screw gate. And if the screw gate motor ever quit, or let's say your generator quit and you had no other power source, there's um, there's actually a um, an impact in there. Like a, it's either a big drill or an impact that you could hook to that and run the gate, okay? So you could take a cordless one, or if you had even a small generator, you could power this one tool up with. Uh, you could use that and, and manually run the gate without actually having 220 volts. So I want to share that with you. Um, again, it is huck riveted, so you can see the rivets in the outside, which... You know, smooth side does look a little cleaner, but long-term durability, uh, this is probably the way to go. Uh, it does have onboard water storage uh, with a, the uh, holding tank there. You can see the valve and stuff to the right. Um, that is for the sink. So inside it does have like a little hand wash station and a, um, uh, a sink. So I'll open this up and uh, show you the inside. Um, so you can see there, we do have a glass door. Again, it's got uh, two 14,000 BTU Cruisers. I believe they're Dometic brand. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that, but I believe they are. Uh, and that was like a 20-something thousand dollar option. So we'll go inside here. Uh, rubber coin floor. Uh, it's got the airline track uh, recessed into the floor, which is something I like. Oh, my gosh. How about this? Let me kind of zoom out here where you can see it a little better. Okay, so um, Featherlight builds all of their uh, cabinetry, and um, I think the guy paid like twenty five hundred, maybe three grand for this finish on the cabinets. Kind of like a carbon fiber look, but I mean, just oh my gosh, top notch stuff. Uh, you can see over here, he's got uh, two C Tech. Um, sets of drawers, all, you know, SeaTac has some of the best locking mechanisms. Um, a lot of trailer manufacturers use them. Some don't, you know, SeaTac, you pay for what you get for, or, you know, you pay for what you get. Uh, SeaTac's always a little pricier, but the quality is, is up there. So um, stainless countertop here, uh, stainless countertop here, got a Samsung, I think it's a 42-inch TV there. Um, just all the controls, so simple. You know, you got your outdoor awning receptacles. So if you put your awning on, there's receptacles built in for the lights, your air compressor, your water pump, all your 12 volt lighting, uh, 1800 hours you can see there on the generator, um, your fuel gauge for the generator, your Bigfoot leveling system, all the original manuals, uh, the Direct TV um, box and stuff all comes with it. So you can see all that in there. Um, that's the lube for the lift gate post. I think it's some type of graphite lube that they use. Um, the keys with it. So lots of storage. Um, I'm six foot three and I've got about two inches above my head. So just to kind of give you an idea on the height of the lower deck. Um, lots of storage here, more storage in the back. Uh, the fender wells are 28 inches tall. So you can see uh, if you, you know, needed con to convert this trailer, um, you know, the only thing you'd have to do if you wanted to get another car in the bottom, we could probably shorten those fender wells a little bit, but you would lose the pressure washing equipment because that's what's here on the driver's side of the trailer in that box. Um, you see the glass doors there in the back and I mean, they literally, to open them up, you just walk up and push and they open. So both of them open up. Um, I'll have to look at my measurements, but I believe you've got 67 inches of width down here. I know it's wide enough to fit a smart car in it. Uh, smart car, motorcycles, ATV, golf cart, whatever it is would fit in the bottom. A couple more of the aero tables, uh, the aluminum tables that fold that are removable off the wall. You've got 110 and air outlets throughout the trailer. Um, so pretty simple bottom part. I mean, very well thought out. Again, two of the 14,000 BTU a piece air conditionings. You can see the controls for one of, uh, for the rear air there and then the control for the front air over here. Um, so Bluetooth, stereo, one heck of a stereo system in it. 
uh, as you can see, speakers throughout the ceiling. Uh, you do have the upper deck inspection areas, uh, so we can fold that back and you can see that access is the upper deck. Um, you've got 31 foot of upper deck length. The upper deck height is 56 inches and the width is 92 inches. So that's to get you through the back door. 92 wide, 56 inches tall. Um, you can see all the equipment there for the uh, awning system. We'll spin around here. Um, that aluminum frame, so the original owner of this raced professional Supercross, like the Monster Energy Series. That was a rack, a rack for like dirt bike tires, so we can take that out if you needed the extra length up there. Um, again, you can see a spare wheel and tire, but uh, all that stuff can be removed if you, you know, didn't need it. But I want to show you the upper deck. The, um, the garage door is full length, so you can drop it down to where it just covers the upper deck, or if you're going down the road, you can actually lower it down and lock it to where you know, no one could just fold the back door open and come in. Um, so I believe that's it. Um, I am going to uh, just kind of read off some stuff, um, some specs on it. I don't want to make the video too much longer. We try to keep them around 10 minutes, and I think I'm I'm actually like 16 already. But um, just a couple things we'll, we'll hit on again. It's got Bigfoot hydraulic leveling, uh, four-point system. Uh, we've got a um, two 20,000 pound air ride axles underneath it. Uh, the onboard pressure washing system. Uh, it's uh, 39 foot from the very rear tip to the tongue on the front. And um, it's got the um, electronic screw gate on the back. So um, a lot of really nice options. Uh, if you go to our website, I've got all the specs kind of typed out on there. Featherlight gave us a list of stuff. I think it was six pages long on this trailer. Uh, when they built it uh, that the original owner wanted it spec to. It has been uh, washed and uh, we use the uh, Rupees One Step sealant on it. Uh, so it's uh, protected and, and ready to go again. We polish the wheels and the tongue and, and everything. So set up, ready to go. Uh, give us a shout and uh, do me a favor. I need more subscribers on our channel. I'm trying to upload content two or three times a week and would love to have you as a uh, subscriber. So like our channel, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer uh, Sales. We're out of Paducah, Kentucky. I think our uh, YouTube like name is um, Chase Coach. I think if you search that, that locks us in there and hit that subscribe button. Um, we're also on Facebook. We're on Instagram and our website, race-haulers.com. We are uh, fixing to create a, a new website, so that'll be published pretty soon. But for now, race-haulers.com. We offer financing, we take trades, and we also deliver nationwide. So let us know if we can help you. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. My phone number, call or text me, 270-556-8461. 270-556-8461. Eight four six one. So, and I just seen Scooter pull up. Uh, he's got um, another trailer just come in, a big vending trailer. I'm gonna take you out and just do one pass around this one. So probably thirty eight or so, maybe forty foot long. Uh, was owned by a company that sold uh, chrome for semis. But uh, this guy just come in, spread axle. Uh, as you can see, we're pulling it with our thirty five hundred Dodge. I'm gonna go around to this side and, and show you. So it's got two big doors that come up so you could do uh, vending or uh, display some product or whatever you want there. So those doors come up on the side, but that one's fixing to come in the shop for uh, full polish and, and get her ready to go. But I appreciate you watching today. Thanks for hanging with me. I know this one was a little long-winded, but uh, a lot of stuff to talk about on the old feather light. So have a great day and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.